Welcome back to GOT. Today we're going to talk about AI part two and the part two is on mobile devices. We're going to talk about how AI can help you cut down on time in your life to do more important things because it'll speed up your workflow. Now we're going to talk specifically, there's several of them coming up, but we're going to talk specifically about GPT and Copilot because those are the two that are actually really available right now. We do have Google Bar that is coming up to the market sometime this year. And we'll cover that more when it comes out. And it's going to be more of a competitor towards Copilot versus ChatGPT. And who knows, Apple may actually come out with something this year to compete with these other platforms. And we'll talk about that again when that comes out. Now, these AI systems are very similar to what we saw on the PC version, except it's down to the mobile version. A little bit of differences, and we're going to cover those real quickly. So first off, you got Copilot. Copilot is embedded in... Microsoft Explorer. And you can download that browser on any Android devices here. As you can see here, I got the Surface Duo. I have the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. And over here, I got the Pixel 8 Pro. Now, just like on the PC, Copilot is embedded in the Explorer browser, which you can install on each of these devices. And as you can see here, we're going to go through each of them. I'll show you where the Copilot is located. Starter. On the Surface Duo, it's right here at the bottom center. You just hit that symbol and Copilot opens up. You can see the web page there in the background. Now you can see here on the Z Fold 5, it's at the top right corner. You press on it and it opens up Copilot. And then right here on the Pixel 8 Pro, it's right at the bottom, very similar to the Surface Duo. So as you see, they all have pretty much the same look. Now right here inside of Copilot, you can get ChatGPT 4, which is the latest version for free. And this version will do a little more where you can actually create images with it just by asking a question. Now real quickly, I want to mention that Copilot has chat GPT working in the background. And then to add to that where things are missing, and what I mean by that, if you go back and look at part one, you see that chat GTP is two years behind on information. So let's go ahead and do our actual first test. I'm just gonna simply ask for the weather and see how they respond. What is the current weather? Now they're both looking it up. Now, if you notice, I didn't tell it where it was at. So we'll see if it just assumes and knows. Hello, this is Big. Look at that. That was a surface that began speaking first. And then we have the Pixel. And lastly, we have the Z Fold. Now that was interesting because the Microsoft started speaking first, then the Pixel, and then the Samsung. But the Pixel finished first, then the Samsung, and the Surface Duo finished speaking last. I guess the Surface Duo was doing just a little bit slower, but they were all nice and clear and gave you the information. And all three picked up on my current location. So this was just a test to see what the Copilot does. And as you can see, it can find it because that was pretty much Bing working its magic. Whereas if you went just with a chat GPT app, it wouldn't be able to find my weather because it would tell me that it runs two years behind. It doesn't do anything current. And then of course we all know we could just look at the weather ourselves on our phone pretty quick. So you don't need co-pilot for that. So let's do some more testing. Let's go ahead and ask the question when Apple is going to come out with their own GPT and let's see what it comes up with. And then we'll go to some websites that it recommends. Is Apple going to come out with its own GPT software this year? And you can see Pixel was first. I don't know which one was second, but they're beginning to type. There is no official confirmation from that Apple about its question. plans to release a generative That was AI Samsung speaking this. first. Then Pixel. However, according to some reports, and Apple there comes has been working on a large language model framework. <laughs> Apple may also face some technical and ethical challenges in bringing its chatbot to the market, such as ensuring its accuracy, reliability, and safety. Therefore, I would not expect to see an Apple GPT product anytime soon, unless Apple surprises us with a major announcement. Now, here's something that's really interesting. They all came with similar answers, but also different. Let's take a look, closer look at this. Hopefully you can see it all on camera. With the Pixel, it went to Mac Rumors, LifeWire, Blog Enterprise, and Tech.com. And it looks like that the Samsung did the same thing, but it referenced LifeWire twice. And then the Surfer Duo did the same thing. It referenced the same four. So they all went to the same four websites to get data and then just kind of summarized here. Now, if you want more specific data, all you gotta do is click the link. So you scroll here and you look at this is ad one or two they got the information from. So they got the information from Mac Rumors or LiveWire. So 
you can either click it up here in the paragraph or what I like to do is go down here and I want to learn more. I'll just click Mac rumors and that'll open up to Mac rumors, Mac rumors, Mac rumors, and they should both go all three went to the same article as you can see here. Now, just as a form of reference, you can see here, this is why I like browsing and doing stuff on the Surface Duo more than the others, even the other foldables. Because look at that, you've got, a, you've got so much more of a page there to view. That was just a side note. So you can see here, you can actually go ahead and read the full article on any of these devices that it referenced. So that's pretty neat. I really enjoy doing that. I can cut my time down really quick by getting the AI to look things up for me. So in my world, as far as I know, Copilot is the only one that I use and seems to work really well where I can put in some information and it'll grab me data from all kinds of different sources. That way I can get the full story. So what else is really cool about this is Copilot will actually read the text to you. But before we get Copilot to read, let's see if Google will read it for me. You all know that you can ask Google to read a page and, and typically it does but we're in a Microsoft Edge browser, so it may not want to read to us, but let's find out. Okay, Google, read it. Sorry, I cannot read this aloud right now. Open web, I'll try again. So it won't do it on any of them. So now here's something that's really cool. Let's go ahead and now get Copilot to summarize this page for us. So what we did before is we got it to look up an article or a topic, and it gave us all these different references. Now let's go ahead and have it just summarize this one page. From Mac Rumors. Summarize page. Now, what it's going to do is going to look at the page that's in the background. You can see the Mac Rumors in the background. It's interesting as you go back on these, you can't see it. So, that's a, another benefit to the Surface Duo. You can actually still see what's behind it. You can't see that here. But you can still tell these to summarize the page. Summarize the page. Now, while they're both thinking, let's see how long they take to do this. There we go. We got the summary. Now, it's interesting is Will they summarize the same way? Now, all four gave similar topics. They broke it down to four, it looks like. We got Apple GPT rumors, by efforts, AR competitors. This one says competition and AI products. This one says AI challenges. So, so the Samsung brought in one more topic. Now let's just see if the co-pilot will actually read the full page to you. Read the article to me. Sorry. It's too long and complex to summarize in a single message. Now I'm going to show you chat GPT through a web browser first on the Surface Duo because it's the largest and cleanest one to do it with. So if you use a web browser, you can just speak in your request. So in other words, you tap the space here, you can type it in, or here you can use the microphone and speak it in. So either way, you can capture it. Now with the app, you can either just press the microphone and speak in what you want, or you press the space bar, and it'll give you a keyboard to type in what you want. So let's go ahead and ask GPT the same question we did, the co-pilot, as far as Apple developing a, its own counterpart to GPT. Look up information on Apple creating its own version of GPT software. And then you just have to press this arrow to send it. No, you're supposed to be able to. Well, there we go. It's looking it up. It says, I'm sorry, I any confusion and knowledge date only goes to two, 2022. Well, there you go. <laughs> it can't look up that information because it's too new. Now, just to double check, let's see if there's any difference in the app. Look up information on Apple creating its own version of. I'm sorry, but Apple has not officially announced any plans to create its own version of Jeep generative pre-trained transformer at this time. Jeep is a type of machine learning model developed by Open. So as you can see, it's two years behind. So if you want current information, you have to go with Copilot, which is embedded in Edge browser. Now let's see how well Google works right now in Chrome. Hey Google, is Apple developing any GPT programs for the iPhone? According to analytics video, in a move set to redefine the landscape of artificial intelligence, Apple is gearing up to introduce groundbreaking technology to its iOS devices. The Apple GPT project, a brick. So you can see you got a little bit there, but you could just go to the one ad, it looks like. Um, it's not going to give me much more than that. Now, what you saw just happen is all three responded, but since they actually heard each other, the first one responds, took over, and the other one's shut down. Pretty interesting how that works. So, so far as the information that was brought up, you can see 
Google just went to actually one website and it happens to be analytics and it brought up some information from there, but it didn't give me a whole lot to go with like we got on the co-pilot. Now let's go ahead and open up the browsers and see what we get here. Open up Chrome browser here. I'm going to go full page with this. You just split the screen and it goes full page. Let's go with Chrome on here and Chrome on here. So here we are on the Google homepage on the Chrome browser. And there's no way to really test it. There is no button for any kind of Google Assistant. You just have to go with the search or with the Google Assistant I did a moment ago. So let's go ahead and go with search and see what it comes up with. Give me information on Apple developing a GPT program for their iPhones. According to analytics, well, they all went to the same spot. So as you can see, they all went to the same site as the Google Assistant did. However, however, here you can, you can scroll down and you can see there are more references. Like there's Mac Rumors, same thing that Copilot did. And it looks like they referred to LiveWire as well. So there's two that it referred to where Copilot went to four different pages. This is ZDNet, so Copilot didn't refer to that one. However, you can see you've got more, but you have more to do here. But here's something that the Google will do that you can't do with Copilot, I believe. Let's go to the website itself and we'll go to Mac Rumors here since it's the first one up. So now we're at the Mac Rumors website on Chrome. Now let's see if we can get Google to read it. Hey Google, read it. Our comprehensive guide highlighting every major new addition in iOS 17, plus how to's that walk you through using the new features. Advertisement, third party ad content. Again, app, we have the pixel that beat them to it. Reaction. So there you have it as you see. Even Google Assistant is not on par with Copilot. So for now, Copilot is in the lead and Microsoft, of course, creating ChatGPT with these other third parties, they've got more of the knowledge base. So we'll just have to see what the future brings with Google Bard and maybe what Samsung's gonna do any different, if anything at all, with Bixby. And then of course, we can't forget about Apple. Apple may be working on a GTP protocol for their own devices and we'll have to see how that turns out. So as you can see, you could use ChatGPT to get information from the past, you gotta go back two years, but it's really good at bringing up information if you wanna know how old somebody is or you want it to bring up an old movie or you have a question about something that's within its database, it's pretty good and it'll bring you good information. The difference is ChatGPT will not give you links like you get in the Copilot or what you might get with Google Assistants. It's all maintained in the GPT app does not give you any external sources. To help speed up your workflow, shorten your time frame, and doing things that you just have to do rather than things you want to do, Copilot's the way to go. Take advantage of the AI and make more time for yourself. If you have any questions about anything that I cover today, please leave a comment down below. And of course, while you're down there, smash that like button so you don't miss out on any more future episodes on AI with the GOT channel. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. God bless.